The Royals first became interested in Balmoral in 1847, whilst Queen Victoria and Albert were staying to the west of here on the other side of the Cairngorms on the banks of Loch Lagan. Now in Victoria's diaries, she talked about relentless rain there, and most of us know the, for the West Yard in Scotland, generally it is a bit wetter. But at the same time they were there, the Queen's physician's son was staying in Balmoral, and he wrote to his father about the lovely sunshine here. So that sounded a bit more appealing to them. Who wants a holiday home in the rain? But of course, the mountains that bring the protection and less rain here can sometimes be responsible for heavy rain and floods. Here in the Balmoral Estate, they keep a very close eye on the River Dee. You can see it's uh, way behind me today, but they've got these flood markers on the ground showing exactly where the river came in each flood. 1872 is the first marker, 1920, 1914, and then we get to the remnants of Hurricane Bertha. Those of you watching in Murray and the Highlands may remember the devastating floods we got from that. And then we have to go, just look how far we need to go to reach Storm Frank away up there, 2015, not a million miles away from the castle itself, and so far ahead of the other plaques, I think it's a storm we'll be talking about for a very long time. The Balmoral Cairns have also weathered the test of time. This is one of a number of cairns you'll find dotted around the estate to commemorate significant events for the family. And this example here is to celebrate the marriage of Victoria's youngest son, Leopold, and has a breathtaking view of the castle.